I have one simple job today, and that one simple job is to convince you to change your behaviour. I want you to stop lying. And don't pretend you don't, because we all do it. At some point or other in our lives, in our careers, we lie. Not just once or twice, but constantly. We lie to our friends, we lie to our family, we lie to our colleagues, to our clients, to our suppliers, we lie to ourselves. Several times a day, people say to you, how are you? How's work? And how do we reply? Irrespective of what's happening in the world, I'm fine. Well, sometimes we have to stop. We have to stop lying and we have to open up and be honest because if we don't, we're not allowing people to help us. Stephen opened the session by asking people to share what they'd put down. And when he got to those questions, he said, put your hand up in the air if you said that your business is growing and hands went up in the air. He said, put your hand in the air if you said your business was stable and hands went in the air. And put your hand in the air if you said your business was new, hands went in the air. Put your hand in the air if you said your business was in decline. Nobody put their hand in the air. There were liars in that room. I know there were liars in that room. I was lying. When I'm in a room of people who I call my tribe, a, a, a group of people I have known, some of them over 10 years, surely that's when I should have opened up, isn't it? When I should have said, we're struggling. When I should have said, I need help. But I didn't. I said, I'm fine, thanks. We're all struggling at some point. And if we don't open up, if we don't let people help us, we carry on struggling. How many people in your professional and personal networks do you know who, if you turn round to them and said, I need your help, they would love to help you? But you don't give them the opportunity. You don't tell them. We have to help others to help us by opening up and being vulnerable and asking for that support and being clear about the support that we need. Having a clear vision, knowing where you're going to be in five years' time, in ten years' time, where your business is going, where your career is going. Red card if you struggle, green if you're past it. Please look around the room. Please never, ever use that excuse again that you're the only one in the world, that you'll look stupid if you share it, because we all face these struggles. But why do I share Donna's story? It's because of that upbringing, because of how hard she found it to ask for help, to accept help from people. All the way through our conversation, the, the recurring theme was a lack of trust, a lack of belief that anyone would want to help her, a lack of acceptance that she could ask, being bullied as a child and not being able to show that vulnerability not having the support from her family, not having the support from the school, being told, what did you want with a baby anyway? Being told, your, your life is going to amount to nothing. She was conditioned to believe people wouldn't want to help her. How many of us are conditioned that way? We live in a culture where we're constantly told, you need to do it for yourself. You need to be strong. You need to show that you've got the qualities. You need to show that you deserve to be here, that you merit being here. We're conditioned not to ask for help. The outcome for us might not be as extreme as it could have been for Dorna, but it's the same conditioning that makes a difference. So the first thing we need to understand is why we don't ask for help and how we can get past that. One of the reasons we don't ask for help Probably the main reason I believe we don't ask for help, and I've touched on this already, is because we want to look good. We spend our whole time worrying about looking good. Now, when Hattie was plagued by all these doubts, the last person you would think she would go to would be the boss. You know, if she's saying, I'm not sure I can do this, how many times have you been through this when you've worked for other people or if you work for other people? I can't tell my boss they'll have doubts. I had people in the book who said I couldn't tell my crew, someone in the Marines, couldn't tell my crew they had to trust me, couldn't tell my employer they have to trust me. Hattie told Leonard Cohen. 
And what she found that she didn't know before was Leonard Cohen also struggled with anxiety. We put people on pedestals. We look at people at the top of their game and we think they've got it sorted. What we don't see are the legs paddling furiously under the surface. And what we also lose sight of is how when we talk about how we're struggling, when we talk about how we have those vulnerabilities, we actually help others around us. It helps others around us to know they're not alone. It helped Hattie to hear from Tom Petty and to hear from Leonard Cohen how much they were struggling. What she said to me was, it's strangely reassuring whenever anyone else talks of their vulnerabilities. So I'm not just encouraging you to stop lying and to open up for your sake, but the sake of the people around you. And it was that community that gave him the support that he needed. It was being surrounded by people who understood exactly what he was going through, exactly what he was going through that made a difference. He said to me, it is critical when you're faced with adversity, you need to have people who have been in that position. It is massively important to have people who get you. Are you surrounding yourselves with the right people? Are you surrounding yourselves with people who get you? who understand what you've been through, who understand what you're trying to achieve. Business picked up after that incident. I asked for help, people started helping. It hasn't been a smooth ride. You know, our business has its ups and it has its downs. But I learned to open up and ask for help. And when people ask me now, how's business? I'm honest with them. I asked you to look around you when you held those cards up to see that you're not alone. I want you to look around you one more time. You have a room full of people here who have challenges like yours. You have a room full of people here who want to support and help each other and want your support back. The help you seek is around you. It's in this room, it's in your business, it's in your network, it's in your family. All you need to do is have the courage to reach out and just ask. Thank you very much. Thank you.